Yo, what's going on, everybody? My name is Sean Brooks, and today I'm going to give you guys my thoughts and first impressions on how this lens handle in night photography and night video. Let's get into the video. All right, everyone, so here we have the 42.5 f1.7. Now here is just on the Lumen G7 body because I'm currently filming with the GH5, but I took this lens out just to kind of get some nighttime shots as far as pictures, see how the bokeh performs, and also just kind of see how the GH5 will handle the low light capabilities and see how much noise we introduce in a shot on this f1.7 lens. So I do want to clarify that this is not a review. The review is going to come after this. I pretty much did a test of my first impressions during the daytime hours when I first got the lens. So now I just want to kind of see how I perform the night. So looking at these photos, to me, the camera produces very great bokeh. Like I know, you know, there is obviously there's a 42.5 f1.2 equivalent out there, but for this lens, for the price point that you get, I think the bokeh balls do look pretty good. Now, in some instances, as you can see, they're starting to kind of get like a little hexagon a little bit almost. It's not perfectly round aperture balls, but well, per perfectly round bokeh balls rather. But honestly, if you're trying to just deliver this to like a client or something like that, no one's gonna be sitting here like, hey, wait a minute, these are not perfectly round at all. So to me, that's something that I can kind of let it get away with. Of course, I wish it was a little bit more rounded, but it is what it is. It still definitely gets the job done. Now, as far as how much noise introduced in the shot, and if you take a look at this shot here, this shot was at ISO 2000, and honestly, it, it didn't introduce a lot of noise into the shot. Again, is an f1.7 ISO 2000. Looks pretty clean, and obviously, if you throw some noise reduction in the Lightroom, it'll clean up even more. Same thing with this shot here, still looks clean. This is an ISO 640, and an ISO 640 f1.7 to get this type of clean, clear image out of this camera, I'll take it hands down. Like, this is, this is what I want a compact camera to do, to still to deliver good sharpness and, and not to look noisy in nighttime shooting. Like, I think this image does this lens and do justice because it's really clean, especially at ISO 640. Now granted, it is well lit, but still, very nice clean picture. Now, moving on to the next shot. Now, I did this shot in the parking lot behind my building. And what I did for this shot here, I cranked the ISO all the way up to 4,000 just to kind of see how the image would handle, to see if it would break apart, too much noise would introduce, and it didn't do that at all. Now granted, this probably has, this has nothing to do necessarily with the lens though it has something more so to do with the body but nonetheless though I kind of just want to show you guys how the image will reproduce a picture at this high ISO range and honestly f1.7 you can still see the bokeh ball still looking good and it's a very sharp photo I can't complain about this photo at all now moving on to the next shot now this this is where I kind of seen the lens I was like okay this is definitely a hindrance of it um the fringing around the purple lights now obviously in light ring you're gonna get rid of all that purple it's not a huge deal but just as something just to kind of keep in mind this also could just be on the Panasonic lineup because I also notice this with the Panasonic G7 sometimes when I take a picture if it's kind of like bright you will get some purple fringing in it but like I said it could be easily removed not a huge deal so now that we looked at the photos now that we kind of see that the GH5 with this lens can handle nighttime photography just well, just from a couple of samples. Now let's take a look at the video aspect of it all. These scenes that you all seen are handheld. We've already seen how the, the lens performs on a gimbal, uh, but so all these shots here are done handheld. Now what I wanted to kind of do with these shots again, just to kind of see how it produces at night, what type of image quality you, you can expect, and let's kind of see how it performs in low light overall. Now again, same thing with the picture. You're getting nice quality bokeh balls in your nighttime video shoot. Also, what I noticed too is that honestly at f1.7 for this lens, you can really handle a lot of things and even sometimes push the ISO all the way up to 6400. Now, I know some of those always say like, you know, the GH5 can't go past 3200, but from my, from my shooting, the GH5 can't go to 6400 if, if you need it to be in extreme situations. And then also use DaVinci Resolve Studio. So, and they already have a noise reduction system baked into that. So for me, ISO 6400, I will push on this camera even with this lens, I think f1.7 on the GH5 is a good pocket for it to be in, especially during low light. Now the only thing that you have to kind of keep in mind is that when you're shooting at f1.7, your focusing has to be on like, has to be on point. So with this being a focus by wired system, sometimes trying to auto, trying to use the focus at f1.7 and in low light can be a little difficult. So if anything, I would say, if you want to kind of shoot with it at low light, I would say kind of keep it like around f2, maybe even f2.2, and just kind of crank the ice up a little bit. That way, just in case you need to do manual focusing, you're going to be able to 
see what you're actually focusing. You don't have to focus as hard. Everything doesn't need a shallow depth to feel, but you also wanna make sure you introduce enough lighting to make sure that your image still looks good and clean. Something to keep in mind. So, what can I conclude about this lens so far from the daytime and the nighttime shoots? Again, this is not a review. Make sure, make sure you subscribe to the channel to get the full review, but right now, this is just my first impression of how it did in the nighttime and the daytime. As of right now, I can conclude for 250 bucks, this lens does what I needed to do. Granted, I do wish that it had a better focus ring, but that's you know that's just a common thing on Panasonic lenses. They are focused by wire. But other than that, I can kind of get past that, especially for this price point. So if you enjoyed the video, please don't give it a thumbs up. Also comment something that you want to know about the lens in particular that I can cover in a full review. And your boy is out. Deuces.